Hi, this is Toby at Cuddle. In this video, I'll show how to manually trace an image in Cuddle. So going from an image that you might have in JPEG or PNG format and creating a vector path that you can then cut on a digital cutting machine. So I'm going to start with a blank Cuddle project. And first, I'm going to paste in an image that I'm going to grab from another web page. So say that I want to trace this image. I'm going to copy it by right-clicking and choosing Copy Image. So then in Cuddle, I'll paste it using the keyboard shortcut, Command or Control V. And this is pretty big, so I'm going to zoom out by using my mouse wheel. And so there's my raster image, uh, the JPEG image. And now I want to trace it using the pen tool to create a, a vector path that we can then cut. So I'm going to select the pen tool. And I'm just going to put down anchor points by clicking and the idea is that I'm just going to be putting sort of rough places where I think they're key points in the curve. And then I'm going to be going back later and adding the curved parts. So I'm making just a sort of straight line version of the shape first. And I find that this workflow is the easiest way to trace a shape. Um, other people, or another thing you can do is when you place the anchor, you can hold the mouse down and drag to create curves. Um, so that is one way of doing it, but I find that I have more control if I just click and then I've got this straight line version and then I'll show you later how to um, add the curves after the fact, which I think gives more control in my experience. So I'm just placing down these anchor points and I'm moving around the canvas with uh, the right mouse button and zooming in and out with my mouse wheel. And then when I'm done, I'm going to close the path by clicking on the first anchor. So I've clicked there, and now I've made this rough pass around the shape I'm trying to trace. At this point, I'm going to then switch back to the Select tool. And I want to edit this path that I made. To edit a path, you can double click on it, and then that will show all of the anchor points, and then you can make modifications to the anchor points. So I'm gonna show how I add curves to this, um, this rough pass. So the key feature is that you can drag an edge and it will create a curve. So if you do that, you can sort of go through and fix up the uh, rough pass that you started with. Another thing you can do is, um, so all of these anchor points are sharp corners. You can double click on any anchor point and it will become smooth. So that will mean that the curve going through this point will be, um, it won't have a sharp corner. And then you can make your adjustments.
Also, as you do this, I've noticed that this anchor point isn't quite in the right place, so I'll just drag it to where I want it. I think maybe I need another anchor point here. So to create another anchor point, I'll double click on an edge and then that creates a new anchor point, which then gives me a little bit more control to get uh, the curve where I want it. Um, so when you double click an anchor point, if it's already curved, it'll turn into a sharp point and then you can double click it again and then it turns into a, a smooth anchor point. So that's the process and, you know, you don't you don't have to trace your image exactly. You can make your own little creative tweaks to it, of course. And so that looks good to me. So when I'm done editing, I'll double click on the background and that takes me out of anchor edit mode. So now I have this path and if I'm done with the image, I might hide it by clicking this eye icon in the outline. So here's the image. I click this and then that hides the image. And there we have a traced path that we can then cut on a laser cutter or Cricut or any other digital cutting machine. Hope this video is helpful and let me know if you have any comments or questions below.